Hey, welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about dogs. So dog is actually the most cool feature of Macintosh computer because you see that it's like a, a it's like 3D uh, image here graphic and as you can see on the bottom of your screen and you see that they are containing your application they are uh, which are considered as favorites or often used by user so this is the dog and to customize the dog you go to system preference click that in system preference and in personal section you will see dog icon you're going to click that once and you see here we have any customizations that we can use so for example the first is size this is very straightforward you can choose large and small icons to your dog's icon and then magnification this is if you in uh, by default is disabled and if you enable this feature then you can uh, for example now I'm going to hover of my icon you see now it's a uh, magnified and getting bigger so this is personal preference I choose to disable it but you can enable it of course so I just disable it for now and position on the screen at the moment we have on the bottom of our screen if you're going to choose on the left you see that it's now on the left or on the right it will be on the right I personally choose on the bottom so let's uh, do it on the bottom so minimize windows using you can choose scale effect or genie effect and minimize windows uh, into application icon this is when you actually open your one of application like what I show you before for example like uh, let's open Safari right now Safari is actually open if I minimize this as you can uh, see earlier this minimize window is uh, going to the right part of the dog but if I go uh, here minimize windows into application uh, icon so let's say we close it first this window and choose this minimize windows into application icon open a new window on Safari again now I minimize that it will not land to the right dog but watch out it will then stay in the Safari icon so it's again personal preference so for now I'm going to take it off animate open AMA application you see like when, when you uh, open application it will animate it so that's this pattern is and automatically hide and show the dog if I click on that the dog will be hide it but if I hover it in the dog area it will show again and show indicate the lights for open uh, application this is the glowing part there on the shadow this is it so I personally choose automatically hide and show the dog disabled so that's about the dog and now let's move to launch pad so I'm going to close the dog on system preference and close Safari again and then now we are going to launch pad Launchpad is actually nice. You remember on your uh, Windows computer, you will have a Windows button here. And if you click that Windows button, you will see your applications uh, icon. Here you can do it Launchpad in Mac Lion OS. So you see that now it's like on iPhone. You see that it has uh, two uh, points over there. If you now we are in the second page, but as you remember, you can navigate with your mouse. So. Uh, like swipe it I'm going to swipe it to the right and I will see my other application and swipe it to the left I will go to the second uh, screen or second option so that's how you use launchpad for example now I'm going to uh, open uh, something which is not here mm, Skype so once Skype is open you see that now it's actually also has uh, light or shadow glowing shadow over there it means it's running and you can see on the top as well so what I'm going to do now for example I want this Skype always stay on the dock even when I don't use it anymore because at the moment when I close Skype or quit Skype it will be gone there is no Skype icon anymore but I always need it for example I always need that Skype icon to be here so I don't have to uh, go to launchpad what we're going to do now is go to launchpad again and open Skype 
and then right click it and you see that options button over there and then say keep in dock. If you click it, it will stay in dock even if I close Skype. So quit Skype. You see that Skype button is still there and there is no glowing uh, shadow over there. So it means that Skype icon stays on my dock even if it's not running. So that's it. And the next one is you can arrange that icon to anything you like. For example, I want that Skype next to this uh, Camp Case, Camp Asia uh, icon. So I'm going to drag it, and you see that Camp Asia icon make a place for this Skype icon. Then let it uh, drop there. Then it will nicely stay over there. You can also change that, for example, like this, and go back again like that. So that's how you can customize dock and thank you for watching this video. So see you in the next video. Goodbye.